Welcome back to Love Island, where earlier you sent Shane into the Love Shack, but who do you want to see in there with him? The phone numbers are on your screen now. OK, Shane's already in there, and Sophie is already in tears. Now, yeah. apparently, she thinks you're going to send another girl in there to join him. Sure, surely oh, not. You wouldn't be that cruel, would you? Hey? Or would you? Uh, we'll find out who's joining him very soon. I really cannot wait. Uh, neither can I. I'm talking of uh, Sophie, with the exception of her and Paul. Uh, the boys and the girls have been getting on quite well, but, you know, which is nice. It is it? really nice. nice. You know yeah. what? It's because although they're very different characters, They've yeah. all got one fundamental thing in common. And that something is, they're all as stupid as each other. <sighs> Today's Daily Decider is called Battle of the Sexes. The boys will face the girls in a general knowledge showdown. Oh, no. <laughs> Should we just win it? Should we just walk away with it now? The girls <laughs> will go first. OK, geography, who's up? Yeah, I'm going to answer the geography question. OK, let's hear it for... Emily. Yeah. Right. This will be really okay. good too, by the way. What is the currency of Spain? I think it. Uh, I think is it peseta? Oh my no. god! That's e right. Emily, yeah. you're out of the game. Please go. Oh, 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 in the US sitcom Friends. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's the oh, one that I should have got. Oh, I'm going to go Monica yeah. with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah baby. Come on, and over. That one was easy. Nice one. hanging. <laughs> OK, girls, it's getting tricky now. The next <laughs> category is history. There goes Sophie. She's come up. Whose famous speech began with the words, I have a dream? Oh. I have a dream today. I have no idea. Winston Morocco. Churchill? Unlucky, babe. It was Martin Luther King. Please All sit right. down. Right. Give it up for Sophie, everyone. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I don't mind. I want to sunbathe. Listen, I wouldn't have known it was Luther, Martin Luther King. Um, I was meant to study that in A-level, and I left school at 15 and a half, so sorry. You know what? I'm a bit of a klutz. All right, guys, which is the name of the body of water between UK and France? Yeah. Come on, men! <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Which is the name of the water between UK and France? Okay, so tip my tongue. What is the water called? And I crossed it several times in the past of she did. three weeks. You can go by ferry. Yeah, and it's called. The English Channel is the answer. I just knew that it was the English Channel like that, whereas, you know, they had to think about it. And, and, uh, and I think some of the girls were going, uh... You know, it's, it's simple, man. All right, Kim. Oh. Which TV show began with the line, ten years ago, a crack commando unit was sent oh. to prison oh. by a military court? Oh, yeah! Oh, oh, oh you are! I'll you just are. do it again. Which TV show began with the line, ten years ago a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit? Uh, you have a problem. Star Trek. No! <laughs> <laughs> the 80s. <laughs> what is that from the 80s? The <laughs> Against two, who will do the day trip? History, who's up? Go on, Cal. Kelly. Yeah. The Cold War predominantly involved which two countries? <laughs> oh, come on, Kelly, you've got that. Kelly, give you've it a go, that, babe. I don't know. You've got that. I would. Uh, the as, Cold as, Kelly, War. As I a guess, the... I would say okay. Germany. I'm very cold. And okay, it's wrong anyway. It's the Soviet Union, Russia, and the United States. Give it up for Kelly Bryan, everyone. I'm very happy. So Bianca is our day trip winner. <laughs> now it's between the boys. So, uh, what is the capital of Iraq? Iraq. Is that your answer? Yeah. Lee, sit down. You're going on the day trip. It was Baghdad. Oh, yeah. All right. Our two winners, give it up, please, ladies hey, and gentlemen. Day trip. Day trip decider. Sorry, Leo. Still need to go for the day, man. Don't worry. <laughs> I look out. Celebrities can be a little bit dippy sometimes. We ain't got 
a clever, clever bunch here. Let's just say that one. Yeah, let's just, eh? <laughs> and this coming from the man who cleverly selected Sophie Anderson for a bikini <laughs> wedgie. Very foolish. Oh, dear. And Leo couldn't name the English Channel even after hearing the clue. It's between England and mm. France. Yeah. Maybe he just needed the additional hint. Uh, the second word is channel. Yeah, and the helped. first word is English. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, as the only pair who could actually tell their arses from their elbows, our so called winners, Chris and Bianca, went whitewater rafting, leaving poor Leo high and dry. <sighs> Let's go. Um, oh, so fast. Let's go. Like we paddle? Oh, no! <laughs> the anchor! <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit! You're right, if Leo was here, it'd be absolutely... He'd flip out. He'd be going, he would flip. Ah! He would flip. Uh, there we go. He'd just be screaming at... <laughs> He's high pitched <laughs> scream. Oh, don't know what to do with my self. Yeah, well, sometimes, like, with Leo, I feel that he does that sometimes to other girls to annoy me. Right. Yeah. I you know what, though? All right. It, like, I last see night, that shit. it was like, I was like, you're really not, like, it's not making really any difference, but at the same time, I was annoyed because he's doing it to annoy me. Right. Or if, like, I don't even know if he's doing it to annoy me, he's actually doing it. What was on Emily? Yeah, like, even Colleen as well. Right, okay. Yeah. Like paying mad attention, almost yeah. kind of like a bit too much. Sometimes. Yeah, he goes, like, like, talks it back to her like that, all, like, yesterday a lot. And yeah. that can be a bit of a wind-up, isn't it? Yeah. You just sit there going, hold on, uh, how are you doing, my So, friend? yeah, exactly, and he was like, come and sit with me. And I was going, no. I was yeah. like, I want to tell you something. I went, if you want to tell me something that bad, just come and sit and say it to me. He's like, no, come over here. I'm like, no. Ooh, yeah, you've got to stand your ground sometime <laughs> yeah. properly. Yeah. Just be like, listen, ain't no lap dog. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know? <laughs> Why do I feel the way I feel? How do you feel? I don't know. I don't feel. I feel depressed. I feel a bit he's low. Here. Should be he's not here. Should be here soon. Oh. Yay! Yay! They made it alive. Hallelujah! You're back. <laughs> How did it go? Yeah, it was really, Very really cool. good. Hi, B. Hello. How are you? Is that all right, darling? That's a mixed red you. snapper with oh, rice. Excellent. With the bread. Bread. Thank if you want some buttered sweetheart, there's Thank butter. you, sweetie. Oh. The boat we were in was like the size of this whole table. What about like the trees? Oh, oh it was just. And the animals. It was, it was unreal. It was ridiculous. It was crazy. But there was a few Hi. times where you just had to lay back and just kind of like baby. chill and just like look up. Hello, baby. I'm Richie. Did you have to hold on? Did you really? We almost yeah. as much as he did. Really? Oh, we missed you big time. Actually, I'll give you a rendition. I'll, sure I'll, I'll give you a rendition, ready? Yeah, yeah, in line in bed, yeah. like this, covered up. <laughs> you know, for hours. Know for hours. Depressed, but yeah. we're not really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we're not chatting rubbish, B. No, we're not. <laughs> he, really missed you. he missed you. <laughs> Don't yeah. even bother styling it out, Leo. Did it seem like we were gone for ages? We fucking did. It felt like we were like been like a day, like literally. So strange. I was thinking, like, is this all a game to him kind of thing? Is he playing the games? That's all you're using for. I'm not I'm not thinking yet. 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 I'm not <laughs> 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 no, 
That's how it made me feel. Yeah. It's a bit burn. Yeah. Would you like me to stop flying? I'm not asking you to do anything. No, would you like me to stop flying? No. Just flirting up saying. It just makes you feel like, I don't know, that last night I just feel like... But it's it didn't make me feel like bad. Or it just made me feel like, oh, right, what's up with that? Yeah. <laughs> it's so sick. Okay, so it's oh. okay. So what's up with you? Nothing, because I'm doing my thing in there. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, you had that look in your face before. Yeah, I've been doing my thing in there. What, today? Yeah. Perfect. Come on, you need to start you up. Find someone that was with someone. Fucked up there. You are a nightmare. Did you know that? No! Just got in, didn't I? No idea. Who is it? It was a nightmare. I'm curious. I'm curious. Just when you want to talk to me, talk to me. Oh, it's just a little bit. It's just a little bit. Welcome back to Love Island. So, which girl do you want to see joining Shane over in the Love Shack? Shane's there, ready and waiting for another four nights on that little sofa. Bless yep. him. He loves to suffer, doesn't he? He loves a bit of pain. He does. He does. Pain is pleasure for him. But who is going to be sleeping alone in the four-poster bed? They all want to go in, you know, mm -hmm. or at least they did the last time we asked them. <sighs> Please, please put me in the love shack. It'll be fantastic to get away from the madness and the palaver that goes on in the camp. It'd just be nice to get in there, to chill out, be pampered, have a little private beach, and just literally relax and have a good time. It would be really, really great to go into the, um, the love shack so that I can sort of take someone away and have them be mine for, like, however long. Just, um, just to give me the opportunity to get to know at least even one person, I think that would just give me an opportunity to kind of crack the surface on everyone a little bit. I'm having a wonderful time and what would make my week even better is another trip to the Love Shack and even though I miss the girls I'd love to have three days with someone special and just have a little bit of romance. If I was to go on the Love Shack with someone it would it would maybe bring out a different side of someone that I haven't seen yet. I think it would bring a more romantic aspect to things and I think that might actually be really nice. I am the only person that hasn't found love on Love Island as yet and I would love to go in the Love Shack. I know that I haven't hooked up yet but give me the opportunity and love my her. Poor Kelly. She hasn't hooked up, so Kelly thinks she's the only celebrity who hasn't found love yet. That is a shame. It is a shame for her, but, you know, she can always have the relationship that exists only in her mind. <laughs> it's worked for some of the others. Very true, very true. Mm. And Emily's not coupled up either, mind you. She's only been here one day, but she's already been weighing up what the lads have to offer. <sighs> Paul made moves on me the minute I got in here because he sang me my little song. <laughs> but I'm so happy because oh. you've got green eyes. So he's not a shy ball. Brendan definitely grows on you because he's just he's got a, he's just got a sense of humour and he just like he just he just mucks around. Ah, hey. yeah, yeah, baby. Chris Chris Chris's love. I actually really like having Chris in the resort because he's always someone to talk to. Like he's always there to talk and muck around and, and have a, a bit of a joke with and, and he's a good listener as well. No, Leo definitely not making any advances. Um, I think Leo, like, was just kind of probably getting a bit used to me as well. I mean, unfortunately, with Lee, as cool as his personality is, like, he's, he's smaller than me, and that just, that just wouldn't really work, I don't think. Shane is the best looking. Best behavior. Well, what does that mean? I don't know. Mm. To be honest. That's a good. I don't, I don't that's really a broad. Know. That's kind of a broad thing, isn't it? He's quite an intense. And, and serious person. Um, I mean, Shane is definitely physically the the best looking to me. <laughs> oh, 
Physically the best looking boy to me. Mm. Yes, Emily's last words there. And if Sophie hears them, possibly her last words ever. <laughs> the lines are about to close. Guy call a night and have you say. Which one of the girls are going to head into the love shack? Who's it going to be, Fernie? Who's it going to be? Mm. It's going to be very exciting in there uh, and very dramatic. Now, it seems there's been a simple misunderstanding in the resort. For yeah. some reason, Colleen thought Chris liked Victoria. Yeah, it's something about Chris kissing Victoria, cuddling Victoria, going off to the shower with Victoria. You know, you girls, you always read into things I too know, much, don't you? I know, what we like. I know. So last night, Chris took Colleen aside and told her he was desperate to get something off her chest. Sorry, his <laughs> chest. <sighs> so good. Are you picking me tomorrow? What's going on? Do you want me to pick you? Of course, yeah. Okay. Okay. So if you kind of, because I kind of was vibing that we were like on a good one. Who, you and Vic? No, you and me. Oh yeah, we were. For a moment there. Yeah. It was kind of cool. But what upset me was you just blew me out like a hundred times. You were like, could you move over there because... <laughs> Remember when you did that? You know why that was? Hmm. I was out of respect. For her? Yeah. And disrespect for her? No. You totally blew me out. You're like, excuse me, could you move because uh, Vicky's sitting here? Oh, you're so funny. You did. Does that mean the crush is gone? No. No? Uh -uh. You're so funny. I need to rekindle it, but it's not like... Good. Do a little rekindling. Yeah. Rekind yeah. Stoke the fire. <laughs> Blow on those coals. <laughs> I was kind of like, I just kind of had to like emotionally move on, otherwise be hurt. I know, so. right? No one wants to be hurt. Listen, it would be great to have a crush on you, like a mutual crush. Totally. Mm -hmm. You know? But if those, if that kindling's kind of smoked out, No, I'm not saying that it is, by any means. By any means. <sighs> I'm gonna go to bed. Go to bed. Give me a hug. So, right now, Shane is in the Love Shack, but which one of our gorgeous girls have you chosen to be in there with him? Let's find out, ladies. How are you? Good. Yeah, OK. Good, yeah. 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 Oh, I do feel rather tense and nervous. <laughs> I, I, I can't imagine how, how you feel. I'm kind of feeling a little bit of a, a nervous <laughs> vibe off of girls this morning. <laughs> so here we go. Shall we get on with it, ladies? Yeah. Yes. Okay. OK, the votes have been counted. We've got the results right here. Get by. <laughs> oh, no, lads. <laughs> Kelly. You're staying here. Yes, of course. <laughs> be, be. <laughs> Bianca. Yes. Have a seat. They haven't chosen you. Thank right you. Get it. Hey. Colleen. Love you, Mum. You're not going into the love shack. Okay. Which means that oh. Emily or Sophie, Emily, new into the resort. Sophie, of course. We know you and Shane together. We can tell you that the public have had their say tonight and joining Shane in the Love Shack is... Emily. Have a seat, Sophie. Have a seat, Sophie. It's you. So your first in the Love Shack. Please, guys. Please, guys. Yeah. 
it's, it's a bit weird, actually. But you're yeah. looking forward to going there, like a little bit of luxury in there for a couple well, of nights? The, yeah, the luxury part would be good, but I think it's going to take me a bit of getting used to, actually. Get, well, I just got in here. You just in I just got in, yeah. Okay. You, yeah. Th this is a good thing. The Love Shack is a place of luxury. You kind of look yeah. like we've sort of sent you home. <laughs> yeah? no, no, I'm only going over there, so it's not too far. Okay. okay. Right. Yeah, I'm off you go right now. All right, go on, enjoy yourself. Oh, 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 the boys are frisky this morning. Aren't they just? So there we go. It was so your decision. I. You've chosen Emily to head into the Love Shack with Shane. There she goes. Bye. Waving her goodbyes. Yeah, Sophie seems okay with that. The guy's slightly frisky. Here she comes. Off you go, love. She's heading in now. Bye. See how Shane reacts will, in there. Will Shane actually be on the sofa at this stage? or? Oh, ready to have a kip. A oh, nice kip he? on the sofa. Here we go. Here she's coming in now. Let's see the look on Shane's face when he realises it isn't going to be Sophie. Are you sleeping? This could be yeah. interesting. Will he pretend he's happy or not? <laughs> oh, he's put his head on his hands. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? He's shocked. Oh, he's shocked. Seems reasonably happy, though. Okay, well, that's it from Fern and myself. Join us tomorrow night at 10 o'clock and see how Shane and Emily get on in the shack. And it's coupling up time again, but who's going to go for who? We'll see you then. Goodbye. Good night, Bernsey. Bye.